What's your order? Just give me one on these.
Americans does not find that we ignore races and race, doesn't explain racism and those relations are best understood within the context of classroom with actual sister support and the central shift in theorizing which entails when we began the ideology of race as the prisms for understanding these often assume that the far grounding capitalist social relation trivializes racism in favor of abstract class based identified as white such formulations were some bizarre but unspoken logic that assumes that racial minorities are only conjuncturally related to the working class and since absurd post Marxist critique implies that people of color cannot be concerned with issues beyond their racial differences, positions rooted in the explanatory privacy of class analysis for understanding the structural determinants of race, gender, and class oppression oppression as multiple and intersecting, but its causes are not now debates, should center on templates for strategies that we can take outside these portal skills, foster within debates, outweigh the inherent parts of the game itself. While it's undoubtedly important to talk about uh, violence in debate, there's a tangible trade off in the types of education you privilege both negative to activate and educational spaces to challenge capitalism. Jerome 14 have come from death. I've done simple to create alternative public spheres that enable people to become the effective agents of change under neoliberalism's reign of care of public issues, collapses to privatize discourse of the need for new vocabularies to ambitious for killer primary intellectual, ethical, and political projects in the absence of such a language and the social formations of public sphere politics because our assistance and caters to the mood of widespread presence in the cathartic allure of respectable any attempt to give new life must address how people learn to be political agents as well as what kind of educational work is necessary to enable people to provide a profound deep existing institutions and as engaged educators we face the children posed by the failure of discourses to bridge the gap between how society represents itself and how white individuals fail to engage with such representation to intervene in the oppressive social relationships against neoliberalism educators. Students face this task of providing the language of resistance and possibly hope, translate as a political practice, making concrete the possibility for transforming politics into an ethical space and a public act that confronts social suffering with collective resistance. Uh, hope educators would be the most vocal militant in challenging this assumption knowledge can be used for promoting social justice, critical education, and pedagogy, uh, offer insights and revitalize the possibilities of cultural politics and democratic Struggles. Educators use their skills to break out of the microcosm of academia and enter into the sustained and vigorous exchange with the outside world, especially with unions, grassroots organizations, and issue oriented activist groups. Case. Their role as a value for individual empowerment is an incomplete starting point. We need to extend politics beyond the realm of our immediate experience. Systemic analysis is key. Rock 14. Socially equal identities don't necessarily tell us that maybe found someone's political interest. So successful politics require shared interests, not just shared personal identities. I'm not here to tell you that personal identity. We uh, spend so much energy labeling people privileged, marginalized, that we often neglect to build space that antagonize the system that cause our collective trauma membership in the marginalized group is no guarantee that a person can understand and effectively combat systemic oppression. Yet we treat marginalized voices as if they are all insightful, as if there's no diversity of thought, instead of learning to recognize how the overarching systems maintain their power, we spend our energy fighting another to embody systemic marginalization experiences, not expertise and privilege, and automatically to give clue clueless. There are competing interests within these groups. We mistake essentialism for interest. We, we don't develop substantive analysis of systemic power that it's impossible to know what our interests are in line with another is out of the question we're going to propose that we adopt a practice of forming lenses rather than identifying allies oppression is systemic I'm going to have to step outside of this personal experience and begin to develop political ideals and practices that actually integrate the systems I have to understand my interests which will allow me to operate from a position of strength and for, form an alliance that advance those interests and interests with it which speaks to issues beyond my immediate experience we are living after the or judicial court liberation is nothing more than feeds status quo tactics of domination and creative Okay, so what we're trying to say is basically that 
you know, when you're presenting the 1AC of your personal experiences and all those things, you're, I guess, and within that nine minutes. What is all those things? Just like the 1AC, the representations of the 1AC, right? Like so you can, just, you can just blanket the all the 1AC? Or you want to keep it there on no, because you're giving me new questions now that I okay. need to an answer. So okay. you're just going to blanket assert all the 1AC? I mean, we're making this argument about the 1AC, yes. That's what a 1AC does. Mm -hmm. And what is it about all the 1AC? What we're saying is that like limiting the representations of those experiences that nine minutes is what privileges those experiences specifically only over like overarching things of what the under looks like. You mean overarching things like Jean Baudrillard? No, I'm not calling Baudrillard specifically like the undercommons. The what under is the value of Baudrillard's presence in the undercommons? Um, I'm not claiming that Baudrillard is in the undercommons. You're not claiming Baudrillard is in the undercommons. So why did you bring Baudrillard into this discussion? Um, well, I so, like, he people, more to the like, right, we shouldn't allow people's individual the ideas they bring to the table. Kind of you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't value the ideas. Yeah, you're like Bojar is a white French guy, so fuck him, right? Our argument is that his what? ideas can have. Did I say Bojar was a white French guy? Fuck him. So fuck him because he's a white French guy. No, Which one is it? I'm saying that the ideas that people bring to the table that can't have value should be understood. That's our raw evidence on the case. To that should be understood, right? We should. We should like filter through these ideas. Filter through these ideas. ideas, right? And what did Bojar bring to the table? I think this argument for liberation is an important one that all the Yeah, the idea yeah, that all liberations have already occurred and we are just simulating liberations. Let's go on to your criticism of capitalism then. How is your criticism not just one overarching simulation of liberation and within the academy? Well, that's what our raw evidence talks about, right? Our mm -hmm. I'm asking you how your raw evidence interacts with your voter arguments. Right, okay. So what makes the distinction is that our alternative is a substantive analysis that the raw evidence talks about, right? For fronting capitalism in a way that we can go against capitalism. Yeah, but both of seems to indicate that we've already been liberated from capitalism. No, that's not both true. Really? So political liberation, sexual liberation, liberation of the forces of production, liberation of the forces of destruction, women's liberation, children's liberation, liberation of the unconscious drive? He's not talking about that? It takes the evidence out of context. Out of context, you mean the highlighted parts? Prep. 